Hi everyone, right, I've got a necklace here that I've just created, I've just made that, I'm going to show you how to do it, I'm going to upcycle cycle it again, I'm going to add something here and here and here and here, I want it to be more Elizabethan, so keep watching, I'm just going to lift the camera up a little bit out of the way, I'm trying to make it so that you can actually see everything, so I hope you can, because I filmed it once and it didn't work. So I'm just going to pop that out of the way. Now in order to do that I have these. We do sell them in the shop. They're double row of pearls, pearl chain. Um, I've got some crystals there that I might use. We're using some fancy stick pins, uh, not stick pins, um, pins that's got nice heads on them, flower heads. That's the claw to fasten it with. That's the loop that we're going to need. I've got some pins here, just straight pins. And I did take some diamante in that out, but I don't actually need that. So I'm going to put that back out the way because I don't need that at all. Some pliers. Um, I need to get some more beads. Got some chain if I want to use that. I've got a fastener for the back, not for the back, I don't need that, sorry, miles away, don't need it, I was thinking I was doing the brooch again, I'm doing a necklace, I've got some connector beads that I'm going to make from those large ones, they are metal, I've got other beads as well if I want to choose uh, to use them, and I think what I'm going to do is, we're going to use um, there's two of the new bits I'm going to upcycle, one either side and one either side below that, so that's that, don't need those and I've got some more pearl if I need it some more pearl chain we need these flowers and you just need the three flowers so we do sell these in the shop so you need two for every flower that I'm going to make one two three four five six. Oh, excuse me right so we're going to need some pliers don't think I need that chain at the moment I've got sniffles, I'm just going to have a drink so I've got a dry throat as well. No, I don't have Covid. <laughs> no, I don't. I've already been tested. Right, so I'm going to choose um, some more beads. I want two beads matching, so there's the white ones. Well, we need three because we need one for the flower. So I might use that for the central one, actually. The bigger bead. Ah, uh, Let's have a look. These are really pretty as well. We've got these cat's eye ones. And let me just see. Oh, that can go on. We can change the uh, the front because it's got a, a jewel hanging off that. And I've got one of those. We shall see. I might need to change my mind altogether again. And a little silver bead. So I've got some beads that I can use. I'm just checking. I might want to do. No, I know what. I've got some others. Um, just hang on a minute. Bear with me, because I just want to get this little tub out. Hopefully, I can get all of this done in um, the half hour that I get with this particular. Because I can't edit the videos, so it might have to be done in two parts. Right, that's for the base. I'm going to alter that because it's gold. I'm going to put a silver one on. And if I've got enough, we're we going to need those as well. Right. So I now need. First things first is to alter this one. This is going to be a central one that hangs from the middle. They do unscrew when you get them. We sell these in packs of 30, I think it is. So we don't need that, but we do need to change that one for a silver one. And I might need the silver ones for the others as well. And I can't use that one, which is that one. We do need little silver ones, so let's have a look. We've got one there. Of course, I need three and only have two. Yeah. Right, we're going to have to go back and use one of these. 
so I need three and I haven't got three the same colour but never mind never mind right so what we do is pop that back on there put that back in the screw hole and wind that back on yeah you can't really tell we've got silver one for these Ooh. let's put those away hopefully I can get it done like I say in one video but I'm not sure if I can oh I can't do it noise It's not that um, Ray's got telly on loud. His hearing aid, one of his hearing aids, has broken, and when I'm filming, I can get into trouble for the noise if it's um, you get copyright things. I'll drop that now. Right, hang on. Yeah, if you've got music on your video that you've not paid to have, you get copyright notices. Or they can take half your revenue off your uh, video. Which I'm not happy about. Let's see if we can get that flat again. That's it, that's that one. Sorry, I'm going to have to get that bead because I need it. I don't know what I've done with it now. I don't know where it went. Ugh. This is... I can't stand it not being able to edit. Where did the pearl go? I have no idea where it went. Oh, I'll have to get another one. Right, hang on. I'll have to get another one. Sorry. That's that one, I think, isn't it? No, that's the small one. And I don't want it on the small one at all. I'm going to have to now. I'm not changing it. That's too small. Oops. See if they're the same size. Yeah. I'll have to undo that one and do this. Okay, we're going to have to use those. I'm going to have to put those back in, actually, and leave that in there, but with the silver one, so they all match. What's that one? that's that one right so I'm just going to prepare these so what we need is you don't need the end on ah I do on this one don't I no I need no I need the connector to start with so I chop the end off there turn that over <coughs> excuse me to make the little loop and you see how it's gone that way, like that, and flat? Well, what I do is I put the pincers back in and I straighten that up. And then I turn the short end back in again and it gives you that eye. 
So we're going to put that through there. And then what I'm going to do is to cut it, because I need to do that again on this end. So that goes through there. And we're going to do that like that. Pull that back. Pull it back a little bit and push that eye back in. And I've now made a connector. So I need to do that with these. Let's turn the end over, pull it back on itself and then tuck, flatten it and tuck that back in. So we've made that eye. Pop that through the bead. We need to cut that. And then we make another eye. Like that. So again, we pull that back and push that in. And that's our connector bead. So I'm just doing two for now. Now we need to do this one as well. We're going to make this. Let's put a crystal on it. Shall we do that crystal? That crystal. That bead. And that metal one, I think. For the droplet. And... Let's just have a look. Right, do you know what? I'm going to take that off, put that on, just a little spacer. Pop that on, pop that bead back. Yeah, that's it. And that's going to be the central one, I think. Instead of that, yeah. But I've used the fancy one so it looks nice because it's supposed to be like you know old-fashioned Elizabethan you know what I mean so right so we pin that in so we've got that right <coughs> now I'm just gonna put these away so I don't need those and they're to hang at the sides and I think no that's what I'm gonna do I'm going to take that away, don't need that, don't need that one. And I'm going to make two more using these little silver beads. So, we're going to go on with that. We may have to alter them, but I'm not fussed. Don't like it that way. Yeah, we may just have to all... No, I don't like that either. Not keen on that. Nope, don't want those. Let's just have a look here. Right, I'm going to put a little spacer. They're just like a little flower spacer. On there. Before I put that on. Oh, I need a tiny crystal of some sort. Let's just have a look. I need to get to the same. Are they the same? Yeah, I think they're the same. Yeah. Where's the hole, mate? Can't find the bloody hole. Now that wire is too big for that, so they're not going to work. So let's see what else we've got. 
What about two small pearls? Everything you do is trial and error. No, I don't like that. No. Now, hang on. I've got to think. Think, think, think. Uh, let me see about these pearls. Those pearls are slightly yellowish and I didn't like that. Let's just have a look at these. That's it. That's all I want. So I need another one of those. No, nope, that's too big. That's it. Right, so we've got that so far. Oh, I need one more of them little flowery things. Right, so we're doing this one. Now, what I've got to do is snip this off. And we just make a small loop. Again, uh, I pull that back and flip that over, and that's another little dangle we've got for it. Straighten this one up. Uh, so we add the glass bead, the little flower. One of these beads, and then the little pearl. Snip that off. And then curl that over. Like that, and there's a, another one done. Right, so I've got those. I'm just going to put this away because I don't want to lose that. Uh, where did I put it? Oh, there they are. Right, so I'm just going to move all of this out the way up there. So there, them connectors are ready. Now I'm just going to make these up. And we've got to do three, so I need three little pearls. One, two, three of those, so they are all matching. We take this little cap, pop that on. I haven't got any smaller ones, so I really am going to waste a little bit of the wire, but hey ho. Now, push the petals up on the first one but not on the second one and then what you need to do I'm going to glue this in to be honest just to start with to hold that because then what I've got to do is snip that and we have to bend that flat so I'm going to do it on the deck, holding on to the bead, like that. And I would normally put some cover over them, but I'm just going to sit them with a bit of glue on for now. So I need another one of those. Take the bead, pop that on, sit the first one on, pull the petals up a little bit, sit the next one on, just glue a little bead in a little bit, just a touch, you don't need much. Let that set a minute. Snip that off. S start to bend it over, you don't need to continue, you can, you can do it with the deck. Like that. And then add a little bit of glue. 
Right, just a minute, so I just dropped something. <sighs> right, and then we need to do a third one. Push that on. Pull all of that up. Push the second one on. Dob a glue. Push that in. Keep these up so you can manoeuvre them. Take the end off. Slightly bend that just to get it going. Now, see what's happened. The cap's come off. So, I'm not going to waste that. I'm actually just going to glue that back on. On a necklace, you're not going to see it. It's what you've got to be careful of with these pins. That's it. And then we just push that on like that. You just need to lift these petals up. Like that. So you've got like a shape of a flower. And then like you say, we just fill that in there. To seal that off. And pop it on there for now. Right, I'm just going to snip this here. Now that that's dried, lift up the petal. And the rest of it is basically straightforward now you've got all the faffing about done. See, they're really pretty. But yeah, we just make our own. I can't find oh there it is. Like that. Just make sure that's moved round like that. Oops. Right, so they're done. That's the um I need the one of those. So I've got those if we need them. Now what I'm gonna do is just to take these apart. All I do for that is to grab the ring, open the ring up. And take them out we don't need that do the same on the other side just open that up pop that in that tub where the others are now um I need to take off on the small one, I need two sets of three, so I've... Open that up, take that off, and fasten that back up for now, so that's one set of three, these are the smallest beads. Must be the other side. Yep. And then I need a set of seven. So three, six, seven. Close that back up. Three, six. Leaves one. We need to take that off. Like that. Three, six, seven. So they're the two parts I need. Uh, one for each side, should I say. Uh, and then this chain I just split into two. So I got the centre of it and just split that into two. Other side, mate. Right. To that I'm adding the um, claw, one end. 
like that to the other end of this larger one, the larger bead I'm just adding that then we can attach those two together oh, my fingers oh bum sorry just open that up attach that on there so that's the back of the necklace move all this out of the way for now okay that's the back of the necklace then I attach the flowers so I need one there and one there and I'm just using the split rings for this please I hope I can do this in one video attach that onto there and then onto one of those and do it on the right at uh, the left of the petal for the right hand side it's the left of the petal for the right hand side So that's that one. Take another split ring. And this is the right of the petal for the left hand side. So you're doing the opposite. Like that. And then we just fasten that back up. like that okay so we've got that now what you need to do is we're attaching this one the short one and you you've put that on the one petal miss a petal totally and then you put this on the bottom section of the petal I can't open that what we'll open let's get another one All right so you've got that on there, miss that petal, and then the bottom section of that petal there. The third petal down. Oops, and you need to put the chain on. And then seal that up. That's it. Do the same on this one. You've got one on there, you miss that petal, and it's the bottom section on that petal. Did I say that? Yeah, it is the bottom section on that petal. And then you want the small chain on there. And fasten that up. So we've got that. Like that. And then with the larger one, you're going miss, you've got one on the bottom petal there, just lift that petal up, miss one, and then this one, you want the bottom section of the third petal. So one, you've got one on, miss that petal, second petal, the bottom section. So you need another split ring. Attach that longer one. One, miss, one bottom section. Okay. Do the same on this side, but you've one, miss, one bottom section on the right side of it. Let's just have another go at this. So it goes on there. And then the chain. Now remember your chains go on the outside because they're going to drop on the outside. And I'll show you what I mean. See, this is the outside and that's the inside. Again, this is the outside and that's the inside. So we've got that. See, like that. And now what we're going to do is to attach the connectors that we've made so you open up 